Hi there, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm thrilled to have you here with me today so I can share my favorites with you. I guess these are my summer favorites. They're things that I've absolutely been loving this summer. They are things that I consider pretty much essential to helping me to be me. And they are products that I think are just really very special. And I hope you'll pull up a nice drink. In my case, I have this Soda Stream soda water. No, it's not called soda water. It is called sparkling water. And actually, my son bought me this Soda Stream machine for Christmas. And it is my first favorite thing I'll be sharing with you. But before I get into that, I did want to show you another of my favorite things that is an outfit. And this is the outfit I'm wearing today. And it is a two-piece form-fitting dress. And it is a halter top style. And it's a little bit cropped. However, you can pull it down over the top of the skirt if you don't want your tummy to show there. But it is in a wonderful fabric that really doesn't wrinkle very much at all. And it really hugs your body very nicely. And I have on some great dream pair of shoes, which I absolutely love and a wonderful woven tote from Amazon that is very reasonable and perfect for those hot summer days. Okay, let's get into taking a look at my favorites. And again, I hope you have a nice drink to settle in. This could be kind of a lengthy video, kind of a girlfriend to girlfriend chat about the things I am loving. And if you could also put at least one thing that you are currently loving in the comment section below the video, I would love to make another video containing all of your favorites. But this is my sparkling water that I made from my soda stream machine. And it is absolutely wonderful. It is super refreshing on those hot summer days. And as I mentioned in a previous video, I've gotten away from Diet Pop and this is what I'm replacing it with, which is absolutely wonderful. Now let me show you the machine that makes this. Okay, here is that plain tap water again. And then here's the soda stream. It's really darling, I think it's cute. And you just stick this up here and then you push it and then there's a little button up here and you just give it five shots. One, two, three, four, five. And it's not an exact science. You can do four or five shots. It doesn't really matter. Just don't overdo it, I guess. But look at all those gorgeous little bubbles. You now have sparkling water and it didn't cost you pretty much anything. Okay, first I'm going to be showing you my makeup favorites, things that I've just been loving recently. And this is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Anti-Aging Skin Perfector. And I wear it in the color Light 2 Natural 30. And I realized that the foundation that I had been wearing last winter that I continued to wear under the heat and the sweat of my skin, it just looked cakey and heavy and made me look a lot older. And I absolutely love this Neutrogena Healthy Skin Foundation. They have one that's kind of a winter version, but this is a wonderful one for spring and summer. This has the lightweight effect of maybe a BB cream, but it does give you a medium coverage, which I really like. And I think it just nulls out your pores just beautifully. It kind of skims over those fine lines and wrinkles. I think it just gives you a glow to your skin and a radiance that just says summer. Now, recently I've been wearing a different eyeshadow and I'm absolutely loving it. I have really small eyes and Charlotte Tilbury has this great little palette in her set of quad palettes. This is called Exagger Eyes and look at those gorgeous, very neutral colors. This is the color that I wear on my upper brow bone and on my lid. Then on the back of my lid, I usually use this color, which is a little bit of kind of a, a shimmering brown. And then in the crease, I just use this little matte color, which is perfect for the crease. And this palette is known to help you make your eyes just a little bit bigger. And I really think that it does. I, I love the crease color, that matte crease color. And I love the little bit of shimmer that you get from the lid colors, absolutely beautiful. And it has a rosy tone to it if you like that. I think it is just gorgeous. And another thing that I waited to add until I got here that I'm absolutely loving lately, and this is if you like a little bit of shimmer just on your lid, you want your eyes to look a little more special, a little more sparkly. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury Color Chameleon Eyeshadow Stick in the color Champagne Diamonds. And really that's the effect that it gives you. There is a look at that, absolutely a beautiful neutral kind of a, kind of a cream color. There we go. Look how that just added a little bit of extra shine to my eyes. I'll do the other side. Take a look at it now. There it is. And then I add the little bit of sparkling diamonds, shimmering diamonds, champagne diamonds. You know, I don't think I got enough over there. So that is how it looks. And it just gives you a little bit more of a sparkle to your eyes, which I really appreciate. 
Now, my next monthly fave is this gorgeous little easy to use liquid eyeliner. And this came up because the other day I was doing a video about my lash extensions and I just had my eyeliner on when I started the video and then I showed you the application of some false lashes, I believe. I'll link that, I'll link that video below. But I did have a makeup artist who saw that video. Let me show you a picture of my eyes in the beginning. And I knew that I should have put something in the waterline, but it did look pretty awful that my crayon liner left a big gap between my liner and my eyes. And so they suggested that I go back to using a liquid liner. And I always had problems with liquid liners. And so I did some research and I found a very easy to use one. This is the Clinique liner called Pretty Easy. It's the liquid eyelining pin in the color 02 Brown. And I'll show it to you here. It just has a little felt tip there. Wonderful little tip that is very easy to use. I'll go ahead and show you how it looks. There we go. I'll just put it against my hand there. But isn't that pretty? That's just a lovely dark brown color and it glides on just beautifully. It is so easy to use. And he also suggested that I give myself a little bit of a wing at the end, which is very easy to do with this Clinique Pretty Easy Eyeliner. Okay, if you've watched my channel for a time, you know that my favorite mascara is the Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. Well, you also may know that I got lash extensions three months ago and about a week and a half ago I took them off and my lashes are pretty much non-existent. I'm using the Revitalash Lash Lengthener, but amazingly enough, I am able to look like I have some lashes, which I really don't. And in the video where I had the lash extensions removed, which I'll link below, I showed you my lashes after the fact, my kind of non-existent lashes, and then I tried to buff them up with my Stila Huge Extreme Lash, but then I came in with a second coat of mascara with the Stila Magnum Mascara. And this had not been my favorite before, probably because I thought it was a little too intense, but when you have no lashes, which I basically have no lashes right now, if you want to make them pumped up and full of volume, then this really is a fabulous mascara. In fact, recently I've stopped using the Stila Huge Extreme Lash as a first coat, and I'm just using this Magnum, Stila Magnum mascara. Look at that head, absolutely beautiful. And a tip here, is when you're doing your lashes just to go back and forth and back and forth and then comb them out at the end because then basically you're coating those lashes you're clumping them together a little bit which when you don't have many eyelashes it really does help to have them a little bit clumpy but then you can smooth it out just beautifully this is my absolute favorite head it looks like a waste there and it really does pump up your lashes and make non-existent lashes look kind of wonderful now I have two more makeup faves and one of them I'm sure you may even have. This is the Milani blush in the color Luminoso and this is an iconic blush and I think it is perfect for the summer. Basically it is a gorgeous pink kind of baked blush shade so it has a little bit of a sheen to it. Absolutely gorgeous and I'm going to put it on again which is probably going to ruin my makeup. I've got to be careful. I just apply and apply and apply and I end up looking like a clown by the end and I never know it until I'm editing the video and then sometimes it's too late. I should not do that. But look at that color. That is absolutely the perfect color of blush, especially in the summer. And with this peach color, even if you're a cool skin tone, I think this particular shade of peach and the variegation of it, it actually has a little bit of a, maybe a fuchsia pink in there. I think this is a universal shade that most people could really enjoy. Okay, my last makeup favorite is actually the lip product that I'm wearing right now. And this is the Maybelline Superstay Vinyl Ink in the color 20 Koi. And it says vinyl ink because it is a long wearing lipstick and it really does not dry on your lips. It doesn't feel dry. Here it is. I'll go ahead and put it on again as usual. But there it is and it is kind of a fuchsia pink color. I'll go ahead and test it on my hand so you can see it. But I realized that I was wearing a lot, lot, lot of nudes and I'm just old enough that I really do like a lip that has a little bit of color to it. I like the nudes okay. I still wear them. But in the summer, especially when you're wearing these bright summer colors, I think it helps to have kind of a fuchsia pink shade in your makeup wardrobe. I have been wearing this most days because I love the color and it is a long wearing lipstick, which is very handy. Okay, my next favorites are tanning products and I do have self tanner on right now. In fact, I have both of these products on. The first is the San Tropez Self Tan Classic and I have used a lot of different self tanners, but to me, this is one of the easiest to use and I almost never get a streak. 
And so what you do is the day before you do this, or even the day of, you kind of exfoliate the areas that you need to exfoliate, like your knees, your ankles, your elbows. I actually use an exfoliating glove during every shower, so I really don't have to do that. Just going through my normal daily shower, I'm exfoliating my skin, which is just great. And then you apply this with either a plastic glove or the Saint Tropez mitt, which is what I use, and you put it on, and when you put it on, it goes on with a dark color, which I really like. Because for me, I'm not really good about anticipating that I'm going to need a good tan in two days. It's like I wake up and I try my outfit on and I say, oh my gosh, Beth, your legs are blue. And so it is wonderful that you just put this on and immediately you have a gorgeous golden brown, kind of a medium brown color. And in addition to that golden brown color that you get immediately, over the next few hours, the self tanner does its work and it actually does change the color of your skin. I think that's just gorgeous. And then I also use this Jergens Natural Glow. In fact, usually I'll use that and then that evening I'll use the Jergens Natural Glow and pretty much I just self tan on my arms and my legs. I don't really do my belly because I'm not out there wearing bikinis or anything like that. And in fact, I hardly ever wear a swimsuit, but sometimes I will wear shorts. And this says Firming Daily Moisturizer for medium to deep skin tones. And I've tried all of their colors, but to me, this one is absolutely the best one. And the wonderful thing about this is it goes on just like a lotion. It has a little bit of brown in it, but it doesn't color your skin at all. But you put it on the night before, let it dry for two or three minutes, hop into bed, and when you wake up the next morning, you have a beautiful tan. And if you routinely go sleeveless in summer, this is a great body cream, and I would use this every single night to keep your arms looking good. And Jergens also has a natural glow self-tanner for the face. And I used this on my trip when Alan and I went on the cruise just recently, and I really did like this. It looked very natural. I'm kind of afraid of self-tanning my face because I am not a Malibu girl. I don't get super dark and I was worried it would do that, but it really doesn't do that. This is a wonderful product if you want just a little more glow to your face. In fact, it was so good that I almost didn't even have to wear any foundation, which was just wonderful. Now, another one of my favorite products that I've been using and loving is this Paula's Choice Pore Reducing Toner with Niacinamide. And I have probably used this for the last year and a half. I have ordered multiple bottles of this. It's a nice big bottle though. It's not too expensive at all. This one is 6.4 ounces and you just put it on with a little cotton round. I basically wash my skin and the second step is that I put this toner all over my face and my neck. They've been saying recently that nobody needs a toner, but I do not think that's true. I really think this says pore reducing toner and I really think that over the months and months that I've used this, that my pores look a great deal smaller and it just kind of finishes off my skin. It gives it a nice polish. It almost seems to almost give it a firm look. I absolutely love this Paula's Choice Pore Reducing Toner and I put the link below if you'd like to learn more. Now, my next product I am absolutely obsessed with and this is the SE Professional or Premium Pedicure Device. And if you haven't had one of these, you will, you will absolutely love it. Basically, it has a little head that is kind of like rough sandpaper. And this one comes with five different heads, which is wonderful. But you turn it on. There it is on low. Listen to it on high. Yes. And so what it does, it is a great callus remover for your feet. And in fact, I used to get pedicures on a regular basis and I purchased this and it's like $20. It really isn't very expensive at all. And since I made this purchase, I haven't gotten a pedicure and I really don't plan to because they cost a lot. They're like $40 and this is like $20. And also I got really frustrated because you would think if you're getting a professional pedicure, they would really work hard to get rid of your calluses. Well, I have very calloused feet. I always have. In fact, I joke that, you know, I wouldn't need sandals because of my calluses. I mean, they, they can be really bad, but I really do think this does an excellent job. And since I have such thick calluses to begin with, every maybe three or four nights, you know, when I'm in front of the TV, I'll grab this little thing and do my feet because I just really enjoy it. Let me show you a bit of video so you can see it in operation. Now, I usually grind my feet at night using that pedicure device, 
And afterwards, I finish up with this wonderful Extra Strength Deep Therapy Foot Cream. It's a 12% glycolic acid foot cream. It says exfoliates and deep moisturizes. And I just slather this all over my feet. And then I just have a little pair of ankle gym socks that I wear, put those on. And sometimes I have to admit, I kick off the socks in the middle of the night. But this morning I was fine. I woke up and I still had them on and I had wonderfully soft and very moisturized feet. This actually helps get rid of the calluses too, which is just great. Okay, my next fave is something I've been using that I really think is helping improve my skin. And I am so excited that this device is finally on the market. I've been using it for about 90 days. The nearer people sent it to me, and this is not sponsored, they don't even know that I'm doing this video, but they sent it to me to do a test for 60 days and I ended up doing a 75 day test because Alan and I went on that cruise and so I, I did it a little bit longer, but I'll link to that video below, but I really think it is helping with my wrinkles and that is what the Nera does. And people ask me, should I use microcurrent or should I buy the Nera? And the reality is that they do two different things. The microcurrent kind of helps with the firming of your skin and the Nera helps to reduce wrinkles, especially in this orbital around the eye area and in the nasal fold area. And one thing I've noticed is that a year and a half ago, well, 14 months ago, when I started using the other Nera, which is the Nera Precision with the small head, in my before pictures there, I had deep wrinkles here, deep wrinkles here, and they were starting to grow together. And I actually have a video where I show you that close up and it was not pretty. And then through using the Nera Precision device, I got rid of a lot of those wrinkles. And now I think this device has done it even one better because the neat thing about this is it takes the same technology as the small head Precision Nera, but it gives you a bigger head so you can use that non-ablative laser all over your face, your neck, anywhere on your body that you want to do that. I actually used it on one of my hands. I won't tell you which one it is, but if you'd like to see a video on that, please let me know in the comment section but I've absolutely been loving this Nera Pro is what it's called. And I think it is giving my skin an overall more fine look because it also helps with sun damage as well. And my last hair care fave is this Zuvi hair dryer. And the Zuvi people sent this to me about four months ago, but this is not a sponsored video. They don't even know I am mentioning it, but I will include the discount code below the video if you'd like to learn more. But this is truly a revolutionary hair dryer. For those of you who have followed my channel, you know that I used to use the Dyson hair dryer, and I used that for about two years and I really swore by it. I never thought I would switch from the Dyson. And then when the Zuvi people sent this to me several months back, I thought, oh, I'll use it for a little while, but I'll go back to my Dyson because I know I will love it a lot more. Well, I have to tell you, I was shocked at how much I absolutely love this hair dryer. And I thought, gosh, it is making my hair look shinier. It is blow drying my hair in less than five minutes. It's crazy fast. And I wondered why a hair dryer was doing such beautiful things to my hair. And then I realized that this is a revolutionary new technology. The Zuvi does not dry your hair with heat, with high heat, which can damage your hair. It dries your hair with light. And I won't get into all the details of it because that would take too long. But real quickly, let me show you a picture. It's three pictures of my hair. The first two are when I was using the Dyson hair dryer. In the first picture, as you can tell, I look like I have kind of straw-like long straight hair. And in the second picture, I do have some curls, but they look rather lackluster. And in the third picture, I had actually been using the Zuvi for only about two weeks. And look at the intense shine that my hair got. Absolutely beautiful. Now this has four levels, and I will say on the highest one, on the styling level, it has a little bit of heat, but it goes up to only about 110 degrees versus 140 degrees or more for the standard hair dryer. And I think that's why this hair dryer makes my hair look so much more shiny. Now, I usually end my videos with a thought for the day, but today I really didn't have one, nothing that I felt was good enough to share with you all. But you know, all of us combined have probably a gazillion years of life experience. And going through life, when we get to be in our 60s, I'm 65 years old right now, we learn some things that can be helpful to us personally, but things that can also be shared with others. And so what I'd like to ask you to do is, if you have things that you do in your life on a regular basis, I don't care if it's housekeeping tips, if it's cooking tips, if it's attitude tips or gratitude tips, I hope you'll share it with all of us in the comment section. And you know, I love reading the comments because I get so much great information from all of you and I'm really excited to hear your best tips or tip on living your life to the fullest 
because that way we can help each other. And that always feels good when we can take a little bit of our life experience, something that has helped us, and share it with others to enrich their lives too. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.